The sun is so bright out here I can hardly keep my eyes on. But what we've got going on behind us there is a chicken taking a break to go to the bathroom and eat. Now why does she need to do that? Check this out. So, Foggy's taking her first break in five days since she started sitting. Here's her clutch of eggs. She has her own water and food here. But there is a dozen eggs. She's been so far keeping warm. It's been below zero outside almost the entire time. The sun's shining, so it's warmed up in here a little bit right now. She is out to take a bathroom break and gobble down some food with the other hens. It took her a minute to find her way back in on her first outing because I'd moved her in here in the dark. There is Foggy getting set up on her babies. We're going to leave her in peace here. This lone chicken is in the pen right now. So you can hear clucking in a little bit of a different way than normal. It's Foggy. She is taking a break. Uh, and she seems to not currently be the top of the pecking order. So since everyone else is harassing her, I uh, locked them out temporarily so she could have a little break and eat and drink and take a dust bath all by herself without interference. There's Mama doing her dust bath, and as near as I can tell, talking to her chicks the whole time. The chickens all dust bathe here under the lean-to in the winter because it's a nice dry gravel spot. So here you can watch her dust bathing. I had to go in the shop and uh, film her out the window because she was very indignant anytime I tried to get close to her. That seems to make her uncomfortable when she's off her nest. She doesn't want to be disturbed by anyone. Anyway, chickens dust bathe on a normal basis to uh, control mites and other things. I've never seen mites, but it's a normal chicken behavior. And so she was very anxious to get out and take a bath and do a little chicken spa here. And she is, uh, her name is Foggy. You can probably see why all our chickens have kind of color-based names. Since with our flock of Icelandic chickens, pretty much every bird is its own unique color. Uh, she was hatched here on the property last spring, later than this in the year. So she's about eight months old right now. And she is determined to raise the um, second generation here on the farm, third one if you count the ones we originally bought from a different farm to start our flock. And uh, she uh, has her heart set on doing that, so we're going to see if she can succeed, despite the very, very cold temperatures. But uh, if you're not familiar with the rest of our flock, and have questions about Icelandic chickens, just go to the channel homepage and type in chicken or go to the poultry playlist or whatever, and you'll find lots and lots of info on them. They are an amazing fit for our cold climate, and we're very, very happy with them. This morning it was nine below. The air temperature outside is still 15, but in the barn it's about just a degree above freezing, barely. Real quick here where the mama is taking a bathroom break. Here is her dozen eggs in our maternity room crate, which is just a dog crate. When she's back in there, the door will be closed and the um, towel flip back down over to keep it nice and dark. It's just in the barn here. We set all the nest boxes, so she's still close to everyone, but nobody else can come in here and harass her or try to deposit new eggs that would be different ages of development into her clutch. So that's what we got in here right now. They are, I believe, six days along at this moment, if she's indeed successfully hatching any in these tents. So she has finished her dust bathing. Come back inside here. In the meantime, we'll put out some fresh sprouted grains, well, our fermented sprouted ones, as well as some green sprouts out of the kitchen in that tray that she could eat in peace by herself if she wanted since she like most broody mothers isn't eating a whole lot i get a closer picture but she's still pretty nervous about being a, a first time attempted mother here and 
She seems to get a little panicky when I get too close when she's away from her eggs. So we don't want to freak her out. Meanwhile, everyone else who wants to be kind of a turd to her while she's trying to do her thing. You know, or I think that's why a few of her feather tips are broken the first time she came out. Everyone else seemed to want to peck her and harass her, so she must be close to the bottom of the pecking order of the hens. I wasn't specifically aware of that. Um, is locked in the duck pen for now so that she can take her break in peace. Now she's just run up the tunnel inside there see if she finds her way successfully back into her crate. wants me to go away. So we're going to close the door and let her settle back onto her clutch in peace. So she's working to shuffle them all back perfectly under her warm fluffy feathers. So this is what our crate normally looks like. I just draped out the tower over it, so it's pretty dark and quiet in there, which means you can't see her at all, but she can still see out, get food and water, and no one can harass her. And after another few seconds, when I'm out of her way and not threatening her babies according to her, it's all quiet. Now that she's calmed down a little bit, Still got one egg to get tucked under there. It's the ends of two eggs. There's Foggy sitting on her nest. So, I don't know if she can do this successfully. We've had several broody mamas hatch both chickens and ducklings last year. Uh, none of them tried to do it when it was this cold. <laughs> we have been below zero pretty much every single night. Uh, zero Fahrenheit, so whatever that is. Minus something Celsius. Um, for the past several weeks now, we've had some days where zero Fahrenheit was the high, um, some days where it's gotten a little warmer and that has not been above freezing in a long time. And last week, she climbed into one of our regular nest buckets here and decided she wasn't getting off. She didn't get off that night. She didn't get off the next morning. It was so cold. I did take the eggs out from under. It got pecked for my trouble because I was worried they'd just freeze and crack because the air does move under here. There's normally nobody in the nest buckets at night. They're up top on their perches. But she's still sitting there the next morning. We keep some golf balls in here just kind of as training uh, things because chickens are very social. They seem to like doing things wherever someone else does and they seem to think these are eggs. And so they're like, oh, someone else laid an egg there. That's a really good spot for me to lay my egg. So she sat for two days trying to hatch some golf balls. And I thought, I don't know. I still don't know what the right call is. You know, it's going to be, is it going to be harder on her to let her try to hatch chicks in this weather or to try to break her of being broody, which we did with a couple hens late last summer when it was so hot. I didn't want them trying to sit when the barn in here had the opposite problem. It was like 100 degrees in the afternoon. Normally the chickens aren't in here then. They're all out in the woods by the creek where it's nice and shady. Um, but to do that, we had to, you know, give them baths in, in cool water to kind of bring their body temperature down, let their hormones readjust. So I wasn't sure if doing that or just letting her try to hatch them would be more stressful. She seemed very determined, so we're giving her every best chance we can here to hatch this clutch of eggs. She's got a dozen eggs under there, 
and she's been very dedicated. Um, I've talked her into getting off her nest twice now in the last week to go out and, you know, do the stuff you saw go to. I, I miss getting the camera on her giant birdie poop. If you're familiar with chickens, they do these little teeny poops normally, and when they're holding it kind of because they're sitting on their nest, they come out and do this thing that looks like the size of a giant dog turd um, all at once. It's kind of interesting, but she did it so fast after running out there. She must have really needed to go that I didn't even get that on camera, but... Um, Anyway, she didn't want to get off the eggs at all until the sun's warmed the, the side of the barn enough that it's not below freezing inside here. It's barely above. And so I just reached in there, got packed once again for my travels, lifted her off, brought her out about to here, and then she was like, oh, that's right, I do have to go to the bathroom and stuff, and went scurrying out the door and took her break and came back. So she's been off the nest twice in the last week, and we'll follow along and, and see what happens. Can an Icelandic chicken hatch icy babies in these icy temperatures. I don't know. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.